Hello everyone. Today, I'm at the Oleander Memorial Gardens in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I'm going to be visiting the final resting place of a baseball Hall of Famer. I grew up a Dodger fan all my life. But if I had to pick a second team to pull for, it would have to be the Pittsburgh Pirates. And if I mention a name of an individual that everybody called Pops, you'd probably know who I'm talking about. That's right, the great Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell was born in Oklahoma on March 6, 1940. When he was a small child, his parents divorced and he moved to California where he lived with his mother and attended high school. In high school, Willie was a talented baseball player and in 1959, the Pittsburgh Pirates signed him to a minor league contract. For the next couple of years, he played for several minor league teams where he endured threats and racial harassment. But he endured, and at the end of the 1962 season, 22-year-old Willie Stargell was called up to the Pirates and began a 21-year Major League career. In Pittsburgh, he would become one of the team's most popular and enduring players. Always a fan favorite, Pops would lead the Pirates to two World Series championships, defeating the Baltimore Orioles in seven games, first in 1971 and then again in 1979. The 1979 Pirates were so close-knit that they adopted the popular song, We Are Family, by Sister Sledge as their team song. During the entire season, no matter where you went in the Steel City, you would always hear the song. It was like the entire city was part of the Pirate family. Willie spent his entire 21 year Major League career with the Pirates, where he had a career batting average of 282 with 475 home runs 1,540 runs batted in. He was a seven-time All-Star and the National League and World Series MVP in 1979. His jersey number eight was retired by the Pirates. Willie retired following the 1982 season. For several years, worked in various positions for both the Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. He was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1988. In retirement, Willie suffered from a number of health issues, and he made his home here in the Wilbingdon, North Carolina area. On April 9, 2001, Willie Stargell passed away from the complications of a stroke. He was 61 years old. That 79 Pirate team brings back so many fond memories for me. Players like Burt Blylevin, the Candyman, John Candelaria, Mandy Sanguin, Bill Medlock, Dave Parker, 
and of course, my favorite, Pops. If you have a favorite memory, those wonderful pirate teams of the 70s, leave me a comment below. I certainly would enjoy sharing your memories. I hope you've enjoyed reminiscing with me by visiting the final resting place of the great Willie Stargell. If you have, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you want to keep up with my future adventures, please be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone. Thank you.